They lead a traditional life deep in the heart of Ecuador's Amazonian rainforest. But without their women, the Warani tribe would be struggling to preserve the diversity of their ancestral lands. Since 2010, an indigenous women's group has donated cocoa trees to wives if their husbands give up hunting. The group buys their crop for a sum above the market price, then sells it in the capital, Quito, to be made into organic chocolate. As they say, I'm happy because if the Women's Association hadn't helped with the cocoa, how could we have lived like before, killing animals that were disappearing? People didn't know how to live. Then we started changing, changing. Ten indigenous communities have joined the project to save the nature they worship and depend on. For the Warani, alarm bells went off when they realized that the game they were hunting was increasingly hard to find. There used to be lots to hunt, like pecaris, wild boars, monkeys, spider monkeys, brown woolly monkeys, turkeys, wild chickens, toucans and deer. The experience is empowering for the women of the tribe who now provide for their families. Sometimes they were shy when the men were there. Then some of them were talking. They said women didn't know anything. But women know how to look after children, to create life. So yes, we can do things. They may have given up the thrill of the hunt, but with their chocolate, the Warani tribe could make a rather sweet difference to their ecosystem.